So today I was going to film a super dramatic full face black and purple smoky eye makeup look, but it is currently pouring down rain and I do not feel like wearing a full face of makeup tonight. But I am still going out so I want to look kind of decent because I am going to the 21 Pilots concert tonight and I am super excited about it. So today's video is actually going to be a lazy girl's guide to makeup to show you guys how you can get a casual and natural look super quick. Sorry if you guys can hear rain or thunder at any point during this tutorial because as I said before, it is pouring down rain today, which is one of the many reasons I don't feel like doing a full face makeup look. But anyways, if you would like to see how I achieved this lazy girl's natural and casual makeup look, please keep on watching. So I'm not going to prime my face because I don't feel like a lot of heavy makeup on my face today, but I have washed it and then I moisturized it with this Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. And this is an amazing moisturizer and a fairly good primer for days when you don't feel like wearing an actual primer because it keeps your makeup on for a long time and it makes your skin look really smooth underneath. Next, I'm going to cover up any problem spots on my face using the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in shade 10 Fair and a Sigma P86 Precision Tapered Brush. And I am just dabbing this on under my under eyes because that is where I need the most concealer and just on any little acne spots. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. I'm using this because it is tinted so it can cover up all the little veins in my eyelids, but if you don't have a tinted primer, you can just go ahead and use the concealer to cover your eyelids as well because we're just gonna set the entire face in a second. Now I'm going to set my entire face, including my eyelids, with this Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in shade 110 Porcelain and a Fluffy Face Brush by e.l.f. And this is just going to set any of the concealer that we applied and help keep me from getting oily. I really like this foundation because it is lightweight but it still gives you a fair amount of coverage. Now I'm going to do my eyes real quick with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and taking this lightest shade here, latest, I think that's how you pronounce it, and a Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelids. I am just applying this to the center of my eyelids and into the inner corner because the Bare Minerals primer kind of acts like an eyeshadow base. Next, I'm going to take an e.l.f. eye crease brush in this light brown shade here, Samael, and I'm going to apply that onto the outer third of my eye and up into my crease. And again, we're not trying to do too much, I'm just trying to add a little bit of definition to my eye, so I'm going to blend that up just a little with the same brush. And now, with the same brush and the light brown color Samael, I'm going to sweep that along my lower lash line. And if you don't have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, it's not a big deal. You can just use any cream, light brown, and dark brown eyeshadow that you like. Now, the next two steps are optional because you could probably just put on mascara and be done with your eyes right now. But since I am going to a concert, I just want to make it a little bit more dramatic. So on a scone smudger brush, I'm taking the shade here, Lucius, which I know how to pronounce because it is like Lucius Malfoy from Harry Potter, and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. And this just adds a little bright pop to the inner corners of my eyes and makes me look more awake. Now I am going to take the same scone smudger brush and this deep brown shade Soulless right here, and I'm just going to sweep this along my upper and lower lash line to create a little bit more depth. Again, this step is optional, but it is my favorite way to look like you're wearing eyeliner without actually having to go through the hassle of applying it. Hashtag lazy girl problems. So now I am basically done with my eyes. You can apply eyeliner on your water lines if you would like, but my contacts are bugging me a little today, so I'm going to skip that step. And I'm going to move right into applying my mascara, which today is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I'm doing just a light coat, nothing crazy today. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of color back into my face using this Too Faced Blushing Bronzer in Pink Leopard and an e.l.f. contouring brush. Again, nothing crazy, I'm just doing it on the hollows of my cheeks so my face doesn't look completely flat. And then finally, I'm going to apply a little blush with this Hikari blush in Tango and an e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm just going to swirl a little bit of that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend it out really well. I'm just going to do my brows real quick with my favorite Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara in Deep Brown. And then finally, I'm going to put a bit of color on my lips and moisturize them at the same time with the Maybelline Baby Lips Crystal Lip Balm in the shade 140 Rose Quartz. 
And I really like the CoverGirl Lip Slicks as well for just a subtle hint of color. But I went with the Baby Lips Rose Quartz today because it has a little bit of glitter in it. So this is the final finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Lazy Girl's Guide to Makeup video. If you did, please leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Got my hands on a Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection face palette, so I thought I would do a super honest.